How to make a group call on iPhone Smooth communication is key, and making a conference call using your iPhone can make your conversation easier with your friends and family. Whether you're a business professional organizing a virtual meeting with your colleagues, a family member planning a surprise birthday party, or simply looking to connect with multiple people at once, Mastering the art of conference calling on your iPhone should be considered a skill. The iPhone's built-in group calling feature allows you to call up to five participants. In a few simple steps, you can host a productive discussion or have fun with friends and family. If your conference call requires more than five participants, you can use third-party apps to expand the number of participants. These apps provide additional features allowing you to customize your calling experience. If you're interested in learning how to make a conference call on iPhone, using the phone or a third-party app, you've come to the right place. Let's walk through the steps needed to improve your conference calling experience. How to make a group call on iPhone The iPhone's built-in phone app offers a feature that lets you conveniently host or participate in group calls. When using this feature, Please keep in mind that the quality of your conference call experience may fluctuate depending on your carrier and network strength. Let's explore the steps to make a conference call on iPhone using the phone app. Launch the phone app on your iPhone. Enter the phone number or select any contact saved on your iPhone to start a call with the first participant. After the person receives the call, locate and click the add button. This action will put the first call on hold allowing you to dial the number of the second participant. Now search for the second participant's number in your contacts. Once the second participant answers the call, you will find the option to merge calls displayed on your screen. Simply click on this option to combine the two calls into a group call. Keep adding more participants by repeating steps 2-4 until everyone is connected. During a call, you can manage participants, mute or unmute them or even in the call for specific participants as required. How to remove someone from a group call during a conference call? You may encounter situations where you need to remove one or more individuals from the discussion. Fortunately, your iPhone provides a simple feature for this purpose. You can remove specific participants from the conference call by simply following these straightforward steps. During an ongoing conference call, Access the call screen and tap the I button next to their name at the top of the screen. This action will reveal a list of all participants currently in the call. Below each participant's name you will find the option to end the call. To remove someone from a group call, simply tap end call next to their name. How to add an incoming caller to a group call during an ongoing call? You may encounter a situation where a new caller wants to participate in the discussion. Knowing how to add an incoming caller to your ongoing conversation is valuable. This feature can save you from having to end one call to start another. Follow the steps below to do this. To add the incoming caller to your ongoing call, select the Hold Accept option. You are about to be connected to the latest incoming caller while your initial call is currently on hold. To combine the two calls into a conference call, click merge calls. Talk privately with any group call participant. You may find it necessary to discuss something privately with a participant without interrupting the overall conversation. You can start a private conversation with a specific participant and keep the rest of the call in conference. For this, the steps you must follow are explained below. While on a conference call, go to the call screen. Press the I button. Find and select the private button among the participants. It will start a private chat with the selected participant while maintaining the group call with others. How to make group calls using third-party apps The mobile app on your iPhone provides a reliable foundation for group calling, but it has some limitations, such as supporting up to five participants and experiencing network-related glitches. In cases where you need more flexibility and additional features, third-party applications become valuable alternatives. These apps let you add more participants, jump into video calls, and offer enhanced features. This article also includes a list of the four best third-party apps that you should use to make group calls. WhatsApp Staying in touch with colleagues, friends and family members, regardless of geographic distances, has never been more important. WhatsApp, one of the most popular messaging apps, offers a solution to fill these gaps. WhatsApp not only allows users to exchange messages, but also supports audio and video conference calls, 
allowing you to add up to 8 participants in a group call. This may be one of the best alternatives for making group calls. To do this, follow next steps. 1. Start by opening the WhatsApp application and setting up an account using your mobile number. 2. Go to the Calls section and press the phone icon with the plus sign located in the upper right corner of the screen. 3. WhatsApp offers you three distinct ways to set up a group call which you can access from here. Select a direct contact. Scroll and find the contact you want to include in the conference call and tap the call icon next to their name to start the call. Click on the add participant icon that appears in the upper right corner to add more members new call link. Tap the new call link option and share it with the participants you want to include in the conference call. They can join the conference by clicking on this link. New group call. Click on the new group call option. You can manually select up to 15 participants from your contact list and start the conference call immediately by tapping the phone icon. 4. In addition, you can also start a group call within a group chat by clicking on the call icon that appears in the upper right corner. This allows you to start a group call with all group members. Facebook Messenger with its widespread popularity and easy-to-use interface. Facebook Messenger offers a convenient platform for hosting group calls that keeps you connected no matter where you are. Whether you are a business professional looking to collaborate with your team or simply want to communicate with your loved ones, a messenger is definitely an easy-to-use option. Launch the Facebook Messenger application, find a friend you want to make a group call with, and open the chat. Tap the phone icon to start the call. Click on the add icon to include the second participant. Find his name and click connect. You can mute a conference call by tapping the mute button, and you can turn an audio conference call into a video meeting. Cable the ability to efficiently host conference calls has become critical for businesses, remote teams, and individuals alike. Telegram, a rich instant messaging platform known for its privacy and versatility, offers an easy-to-use solution for group calling. So, without further ado, let's find out how to set up, manage, and make the most of group calls with Telegram's easy-to-use interface and rich set of features. Telegram provides secure group voice chats for a number of participants. Follow the steps below to do this. Open the Telegram app on your iPhone. Click on the new chat button in the upper right corner of the screen. Select the new group option. Find the individual participants you want to make a group call with, and then click Next. Once you have completed these steps, a window will appear on your screen, displaying all the group information. You will have the freedom to name your group as you wish there. If desired, you can also upload the group's logo. Moreover, you will be given the option to automatically delete messages in this group for everyone after a period of time. This feature allows you to automatically delete messages in the group for everyone after a specified period of time. When you click the drop-down menu, you will be able to choose between one day, one week, one month, or set a custom time. You can customize the auto-delete settings to suit your preferences. Once your group is created, you can start a group call by opening the group chat in which you want to start a group call. Tap the group name at the top of the screen. Click on the video chat button. When you click on the video chat button, a small menu will appear offering two options, start video chat and schedule video chat. By clicking on the start video chat option, you will start a voice chat with all the participants in the group. From there, you can invite more members, switch to a video call from an audio group call mute or unmute yourself, and even leave the group call. If you click on the schedule video chat option, you will be prompted with a timer through which you can schedule the conference call time. Doing so will notify all group participants so everyone is aware. Google is dead. Google Meet, formerly known as Google Duo, is a video meeting and group calling platform. It is suitable in different scenarios, from business meetings to virtual gatherings. To start a group call, Open the Google Meet app on your iPhone and tap the new button that appears in the bottom right corner of the screen. Now, you can start a conference call or meeting in three different ways discussed below. 1. Create a new meeting. You can start a call or meeting with multiple participants by sharing the meeting link. To get started, click the new button in the lower right corner. Then simply click Create New Meeting which will create a unique meeting link. You can then choose to copy this link or select share to distribute it to your intended participants. With the meeting link at hand, 
All participants can easily join the meeting. 2. Schedule in Google Calendar Google Meet also offers the option to schedule calls or meetings through Google Calendar. To schedule meetings for a later date, you'll need to install Google Calendar. Simply click Schedule in Google Calendar, choose your desired date and time, and invite multiple participants. Then click the Save button in the upper right corner. When the scheduled meeting time arrives, participants will receive notifications and can join the meeting via the link provided. 3. Create a group meeting. You can start a meeting by forming a group from your contact list. Click the Create Group option, select up to 31 people, and then click Done. Then press Start to start the meeting. You can also share the meeting link with any of the participants.